Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the morning show. Here, this is Wrestling Talk Show. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to kick off my Monday Night Raw review. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a slobber knocker review. So, ladies and gentlemen, the authority comes out, which is Triple H and Steph McMahon, and they're cutting a promo, they're cutting a segment about, you know, that we're gonna miss them and then we're gonna we're gonna beg them to come back to the WWE and that you know it's like Triple H Stephanie you guys made our life a living hell that's what you did to us you made up you made our life a living hell okay nobody liked the authority okay I liked it for a while but I mean he's like I gave you what you wanted I'm like yeah well it took you a while to give us what you, it took you a while to give us what we wanted because you wouldn't listen to us half of the damn time. And that's the problem. You don't listen to us. And that's why we hated you because of all the stuff you did. And that's why the fans didn't like you. And this Stephanie's doing this whole crying thing and she pulled it off really good. I like how she did that. She did good with that. Um, then Daniel Bryan comes out, okay? And I'm like, Daniel Bryan is back. Daniel Bryan is back in the WWE, ladies and gentlemen. I was flipping out. I'm like, yes, Daniel Bryan is back, ladies and gentlemen. This is awesome news. Daniel Bryan is back in the WWE. And I can't wait to see what's in store for Daniel Bryan. So later to during the night, he's like, I'm the GM of, I am the general manager of Monday Night Raw tonight. Okay? And he starts flip, you know, he starts calling matches out. He calls out the authority, um, you know, team authority out. Um, he talks about Seth Rollins. He's like, I'm going to put Seth Rollins, I'm going to put you in a match tonight. And you got three choices. You could team up with Kane and Mike Henry. You could, t you could um, t team up with JJ Security, which is Jamie Noble and Joey Mercury. And you could, or... Number would be he had A, B, or C, and B was Luke Harper or or Mark Henry. Those were the three choices that you could pick on the WWE app. Now those were the choices, ladies and gentlemen, that you could pick. And Seth Rollins was flipping out and that stuff, and Daniel Bryan was talking, and and it was funny though. Before this even happened though, Triple H was like. Well, Triple H and Stephanie were walking out. Daniel Bryan was doing the yes thing while he was... It was so awesome. I loved it, ladies and gentlemen. So then we have... We have Ryback taking on Mike Henry, okay? He was like, I'm going to give you a rematch. A WrestleMania re... You know, Ryback, you know, that you beat at WrestleMania two years ago. At WrestleMania 28, I think it was. At 28. 28 or 29, one of those. And he's like, he is right back. Right back. And that start and that match starts right now. Okay? And the match took place. Right back won. I'm happy because I hate Mike Henry and I'm happy right back won the match. You know, let's hope WWE can do good for Mark. Let's hope WWE can do good for Ryback, ladies and gentlemen, because you know what? I really think that he deserves to be really, really good. He deserves to get a great push later in the beginning of this year going into 2015. Then we have we have Luke Harper and Dean Ambrose for the Intercontinental title. I actually really like this was my favorite match on the card. The match was great. The match was good. I was really impressed by this match. You know, I really wanted Dean Ambrose to win the match because I think he deserves to have a title across his waist. We have Santino Lear the Cable Guy come out. F that was a funny segment. I love that segment. There's a movie coming out. It's called Jingle All the Way 2. And Lear the Cable Guy is in it. So it's really cool. We have Then we have the Dust Brothers versus Miz and Sandow. Miz and Sandow are still the tag team titles. They won the match. Um, Rusev comes out and cuts a big, huge little promo and stuff because of promo. And Sergeant Slaughter comes out because Daniel Bryan said to Rusev, you have two choices. 
You can defend, you're going to defend your title in a battle royal. Or if you don't want that choice, you can do choice number two. And choice number two was you had to do, you had to do the American, you had to say the American flag thing. And, and he didn't do it. And Jack Swagger comes out, right? And starts beating the crap out of Rusev. I'm so tired of this feud. I'm so tired of it. I'm so done with it. Who cares? Kurt, Jack Swagger is just a Kurt Angle ripoff. Okay? That's that's all basically he is. That's that's all he is. That's all he is is a Kurt Angle ripoff. Okay? Jack Swagger sucks. He's a piece of crap jobber. Okay? And I'm so done with him. I'm so done with Jack Swagger, okay? The guy is useless in this company. Then we have Fandango versus Justin Gabriel. Wow, Fandango's back. He has a new character. He has a new little thing now with Rosa Medenzis, and his thing's different now. So, I don't know. Maybe they're going to push him now. Maybe that's what it seems to me. We have, uh, we have Big Show comes out and cuts a big huge thing of what he did. You know what, Big Show, you're such a traitor. You are. You're a traitor. You're a liar. You lied to the fans that you're not a traitor. You are a traitor for what you did. Yes, you may have a big medical thing because you're an overgrown giant, okay? I, I'm sorry for that, but I'm not sorry for you lying saying that you're not a traitor because what you did is you punched the crap out of John Cena at the Survivor Series pay-per-view last night. Big Show, you gotta just go home, take your ball, go home, because right now, you are not the future of the company no more. We don't need you in WWE no more, okay? You and Mike Henry need to go. You guys aren't the future. You guys are the past. We have AJ Lee versus Brie Bella. Brie Bella won, and then she calls, because how, how the girls dress at, they're skanks and stuff. I'm like, you know what? Nikki Bella is not a skank. She just dresses different. Uh, we have Adam Rose and the Bunny versus Nat Natty and Tyson Kidd. Stupid tag team match. Just pointless, guys. I'm done talking. It was just stupid. I don't even care. I don't even know who the, won the match. I just don't even care. It doesn't matter because I was I was out doing something. So whatever. Moving on. We have John Cena, Dolph Ziggler versus Seth Rollins and JJ Security. This match was, this was a three-on-two handicap match, and I, this match was really stupid. It really was. Match was stupid. So I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for tuning in to the morning show of my Raw review. I will have more stuff going on throughout the day, so make sure you guys tune in. As much as you possibly can, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, subscribe to the Wrestling Talk Show. I will bring the best, and I will be the best on this website. I will make it the best wrestling talk show ever. Because you know why? Because I can, and I will make it the best. You just wait and see, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe for more dedicated awesomeness.